Well, it's the sport taking off around East Texas, but with more area kids taking up lacrosse, the game is facing some growing pains. Between the cost to play and finding space for games, some schools are slow to embrace it. Our Alex Osaitis spoke to one local coach responsible for helping grow the sport here. He says the lessons athletes are learning on the field are sticking with them off the field. It's new this morning. Blocking a ball, it just feels really good. And whether it's blocking or making a shot, fast pace, high energy, and even the ability to let out a little aggression, many more kids joining in. The intensity, it's it's kind of it's kind of like all sports, like hockey. You go behind the goal. There's a lot of a uh, physical physical aspects to it. Dr. Tom Volatile says East Texas was slow to accept the sport, but lately more and more young players are finding that intensity to be a deciding factor in taking up lacrosse. As soon as lacrosse gets gets started, the kids go nuts and you know everybody wants to start playing and so uh, that's already happening. He says players associated with Cumberland Academy's lacrosse team come from schools around the Tyler area where programs haven't been developed yet and what these players are learning on the field translate into lifelong lessons. We've been having to work as a team a lot in lacrosse. You can't do it by yourself at all since it's 10 people. If you try to do it by yourself, it just won't work. Volatile says the equipment costs, which run up to several hundred dollars, and space to play. Just a few things he says, keeping East Texas from becoming a lacrosse capital for the immediate future. The problem, of course, is fields. You know, it's uh, we've all we've really struggled uh, with uh, finding fields and places to practice. But he says that's about to change. Number one Academy plans to add a lacrosse field to its new campus, already making a room for a ninth grade team next year. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Alex Ositis. Time now is 620.